Hi, Temple Beth Tikva. I want to make sure that everybody is ready for our Zoom Seder on Wednesday night at 6 p.m. You can see all around me are the ingredients you need to prepare your Seder plate. First thing that's going to happen in the Seder is that we will welcome in Passover and we will do so with wine. So I have this beautiful uh, wine serving device. I actually don't even know what it's called. And in a moment, I'm gonna pour it, but <laughs> not quite yet. You know, I, I think Rudy, Rudy Gold, I think you gave this to me. And uh, going through looking for a Seder plate in China for Passover, I found this and thought it would be fun to use. So we've got eight cups here. And we, um, I am now going to pour the wine so you can see this beautiful uh, furniture or accoutrement here. Look at that. And by the way, I'm using grape juice, not wine. Uh, there we go. How do you like that? Mmm. Mmm. I forgot the bracha. Let me try that again. Baruch atah Adonai lehinu melech haolam bore pri hagafen. Amen. <laughs> ah, sweet, sweet. So next we want to make sure that you have matzah. This is not a regular Shabbat, no chawa. And so peek a peek a peek, here we have the matzah. And uh, you want three pieces of matzah. And the middle piece of matzah we're gonna break in half, and half of it will be the afikomen later in the Seder, and half of it will be the piece of matzah that we'll taste, but we're not gonna eat it now, of course. So I'm gonna put the matzah back under the cover. <laughs> there we go. Now, uh, the next thing that happens in the Seder is the karpas, that uh, are the spring greens, and you'll see there's some parsley here on the table. So you wanna have some parsley ready for your, uh, oh, I'd love to smell it, you know, cause it's spring. Well, actually, you know, it makes the parsley smell great when you take um, some of the leaves and pinch them. Yeah, and then smell, mmm. That is spring. All right, so now the spring sweetness, we're gonna dip into salt water. So uh, let's prepare our salt water. We're gonna uh, take the water and pour it into a bowl. You see, I've got an empty bowl ready for the salt water. There it is. And the water goes there. All righty. And uh, we're gonna dip. The salt is in the bottom of the bowl. You wanna mix the salt in, you know, it just sits there. All right, that's nice and mixed in. And then, oh, just like the tears of the Israelites, for sure, for sure. All right, so we got our salt water and our carpas. Next, we need to uh, prepare the maror. Now, um, here comes a confession. Rabbi Johanna did not plan ahead for Passover shopping. And uh, I don't have any horseradish this year, so I pulled out some dry wasabi and we're gonna take the dry wasabi and the teaspoon and I um, would put some in the other empty bowl that I have, the other empty bowl that I have. Oh, look, it's got some water in it. Um, let's just empty that bowl again. Just empty it, thank you. It's funny, do you ever talk to your own lemons? All right, we wanna put a little wasabi in the bowl. Yeah, um, I don't know, my fingers are having a little trouble with the spoon here. So you want to be generous with the wasabi. You, you, you know, it is my lore. It is there we go, the bitterness of slavery. And you want to add a little bit of water there. Uh, you can take the salt water a little bit. Don't save some for the Savior. And now you want to really uh, get a paste going. Uh, yeah, you know, I like the French way of cooking. It's such a sensual art where you actually really touch the food uh, and massage it. And um, this is a little uh, wet, this um, paste. I kind of thought the wasabi, I think we need some more powder, uh, wasabi powder to get a paste. I, I, I mismanaged there. All right, and you wanna see if you can get a paste. Um, I'm talking to my hands again. 
You know, we used to always say about my grandma, Sunny, you'd be in the kitchen with her and she'd talk to every appliance, the toaster, the refrigerator, the stove. Well, grandma's in me alive and kicking. All right, that's a nice paste. Uh, is it bitter? Ooh, yeah. All right, the maror is ready. And of course, uh, also uh, we need to prepare the sweetness that goes with the maror. Remember, we're gonna make a Hillel sandwich. So that is chopped apples, chopped nuts and raisins, uh, some cinnamon and some honey. I have prepped the apples and I'd like to just finish chopping now uh, the nuts and the raisins. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this is an ulu knife that uh, Mark and I uh, acquired when we lived in Alaska. Very useful for chopping, uh, but also you can imagine uh, very easy to uh, <laughs> get in one's own way here. All right, I think those are chopped nicely. I wonder if we can uh, put them in with the apples. And there we go. I think... Um, you know, I really like getting all the uh, bits and pieces out of the uh, chopping board. So um, I will, uh, there we go, I did it. And now um, I did in prepping uh, this, uh, this little set here for not really measure uh, my arm length. And I'm not sure if I can reach the honey, but we need honey and we need, there we go, we need some honey. And we'll need some cinnamon. There we go. There we go. And some cinnamon. Okay, and let's not forget Harosets need some grape juice or some wine. And that one is actually empty, so I will borrow from one of my guests. And there we go. Let's put a second shot in. It's been a rough Passover due to COVID-19. We all deserve an extra shot, don't you think? Mmm. Mmm. Great pre hagafen Amen. And let's mix up our haroset here. All righty. Yeah, again, the French technique, when you actually massage each individual piece of apple and nut and raisin, you push the honey, the cinnamon, the essence of the manischewitz into the pores. And uh, I generally like to then let it sit for a little while. Mmm. 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 Oh, yeah. Mmm. Perfect high roasted. Perfect high roasted. All right, so we are ready. Time to get the cider plate. All right, having cleaned up our prep and left out the most important ingredients, now we prepare the cider plate. First, we have our roasted shank bone, the lamb bone that represents uh, the Israelite story in which uh, the Paschal offering uh, was required of the ancient Hebrews to take some of the blood and to use the shank bone uh, represents that sacrifice. And of course, we painted the blood, if you believe we were actually a part of it, we painted the blood on the doorposts and uh, then our uh, homes were protected when the angel of death uh, fled over uh, or flew over Egypt. Now we also have a roasted egg on the Seder plate. The roasted egg symbolizes the uh, spring sacrifice that was made at the same time as the Paschal offering uh, when there was the temple in Jerusalem. And so we have the roasted egg on our plate. Certainly roasted egg in springtime makes us think about fertility. And um, some people are predicting a boom after COVID-19, a new baby boom. Who knows? We'll see. All right, so we wanna put some carpas on our Seder plate, the spring green. And the spring green, uh, we just need a little bit to symbolize and then you might, you know, put some uh, to serve people if you have uh, a dinner 
uh, for your family that lives in your house with you. And after the carpast, we turn to malor, the bitter herb. If you are using a Seder plate uh, that is uh, really set up for Passover as opposed to a nice piece of china, which I'm using here, yeah, you would have the maror, the horseradish, we're using wasabi paste, and uh, you would also have another spot called chazeret, and chazeret is where you put a piece of romaine lettuce, uh, which is another bitter herb uh, according to uh, the Passover rituals. Uh, but you are not required to have chazeret on the Passover plate, the Seder plate. And finally, we want to symbolize the bricks and mortar, the charoset, the sweet apple nut mixture. Add a spoonful of that onto the Seder plate. There we go. And um, I say when you add that onto the Seder plate, you take one more taste of that sweet apple mixture. I mean, some people might go for the roasted egg, uh, but I just want to make sure that, uh, mm, yeah, definitely ready for Passover Seder. Looking forward to seeing you on Wednesday night. Good preparations. Love you. See you later, TBT.